This is module 5, mid-module review, um, side 2. Number 3. For Thanksgiving, Grandma made an apple pie and a chocolate cream pie that were exactly the same size. The adults ate one-third of the apple pie, and the children ate one-sixth of the chocolate pie. Who ate a larger amount of pie, the adults or the children? Explain your answer using words, pictures, and numbers. So I know that I need to show two different pies that are the same size. So I have, first, I'm going to label it the apple pie. And then do my best to draw the same size circle. I'm going to label that chocolate pie. The adults ate one-third of the apple pie, so I'm going to carefully partition my apple pie into three equal parts and I'm going to shade one-third to show what the adults ate. Then it tells me the children ate one-sixth of the chocolate cream pie. So again I'm going to carefully partition starting with thirds and then extending each of the lines of the thirds to show what the children ate, <clears throat> and then I'm going to shade one-sixth. Looking back at my question, I'm being asked who ate the larger amount of pie, the adults or the children? And again, I have to use words, pictures, and numbers. So I can go ahead and use numbers to label each portion of the pie. I've already used pictures to label. Look carefully at both of the pies and think about which of those fractions is the larger fraction of pie that was eaten. Explain in words which fraction of the pie was eaten more of and how you know by looking at those two pictures. Now on number four, I am missing some information from my picture. The fractions did not show up. So I'm going to do my best to guess what the picture said. But if I'm wrong, then you need to look at yours more carefully. Pedro explained, my drawing shows a picture of a fraction. Kara says, I, it looks like a picture of another fraction to her. When I see both of these pictures, both of these pictures to me look like 5, 6, because there are 5 portions shaded and 6 total portions. If those are not the correct fractions, then you need to look at them more carefully and you need to look at this yourself. So this number 4, unfortunately I'm not really going to be able to be much help with since I don't have those fractions on my paper. When you look at it, though, think about how both people could be correct with what they have to say. So explain that using words, pictures, and numbers. And you can use the pictures down here to help you explain how both people can be correct. Then on part C, they're talking about that they can either represent one-third or one-sixth. And that must mean that they, I, I assume it says, are equal. You need to discuss and write if you agree with Kara, again, using words, pictures, and numbers. I'm sorry that I wasn't too much help with this since I am missing numbers. However, we will be going over this in class tomorrow, so you can get the correct answers and any help that you need in class tomorrow.